Greetings everyone. My name's John Demshaw and I make videos about how to get the most out of the Apple products we carry around with us every day. I see our Apple EDC channel has just crossed a thousand subscriber line and I want to thank everybody for your support. It's really appreciated and this milestone has given me a little pause to think about my whole approach to using Apple Notes and shortcuts as a second brain. That's why I haven't posted a video in a while. I've been busy learning more about shortcuts and more specifically, the power of the clipboard that's built into our Apple devices. You know, I think the concept of the second brain is so important, particularly in our busy world. And over the last several months, using mine, a lot of stress and anxiety caused by that everyday information overload that we all face seems to be easier to handle. You know, I really want to get this right. And I realized my previous tutorials were kind of all over the place in terms of look and feel. And the ones that work with the share menu didn't always produce perfect results. So I started rethinking all of that. And to make a long story a little less long, I realized that incorporating the clipboard could provide a more consistent user experience because it's a familiar tool we're all used to using. And for those of us who are a little more technically inclined, the clipboard automatically handles multiple data types. Not to get too far in the weeds on this one, but that fact lets us place information into our second brain in a much simpler and more elegant way. I'll show you what I mean with a quick example a little later on. Now, while reviewing all of this over the last few months and testing things out on my poor family members, another thing became obvious, and that is that we are all in different places in our shortcuts journey. So I decided that maybe the best thing is to make a tutorial about shortcuts themselves to help people who are new to them get started and maybe to provide a little more information to those of us who are already familiar with them. I put a link to that video in the description. So if this is all new to you, or if you want a little refresher, that's a great place to start. You know, it seems the best way to design any tool is to start somewhere and then keep using it and refining it until it works as consistently and as smoothly as it can. So together, we've already started somewhere with my first set of tutorials. And over the past few months, I've been refining like mad, and I'd like to share a screen recording that shows you my second brain system. And I'll attempt a demonstration or two of how the shortcuts behind it actually work. My plan is to provide tutorials on second brain essentials like simple entries and retrievals. And then as we go along, add shortcuts that make the second brain concept even more powerful and to inspire you to customize second brain for your best results. Now that we've got all that behind us, let's roll the screen recording. Okay, we're at the Kennedy Space Center on the little wildlife trail just east of the Max Brewer Causeway. And I thought this would be as good a place as any to walk through how my second brain functions and how I have mine set up. So for the demonstration purposes here, I've made a page for EDC. So I have my EDC second brain menu right here. And I have a bookmark to open my second brain. I have a bookmark to send my location to my brain. I have another one to let me see my favorite locations. And then down here, I have a widget that lets me make a journal entry, uh, makes, lets me make a single entry into my brain that's not in the journal, that opens my journal, and that lets me do a quick dictation into my second brain. Let's start with the journal. So this little widget here runs the journal entry shortcut. So it's the first entry of the day, so I get a little message that says, good morning, first entry of September 1st, 2024. When I hit OK, it gives me an input screen so I can record my thoughts. So it asked me if I want to put a tag here. I don't. Because I opened it in the journal, it's going to automatically put that tag on it. There's our journal entry. And you see I have my EDC daily journal tag automatically placed on it. Okay, so I'll close that. And, and just to remind everybody, this is just a note in Apple's notes, but it's in my EDC second brain folder. 
and that shortcut automatically put it in that folder. Okay, so we'll close that. All right, so now let's say we want to make another entry into our journal, but we've already made our first one. So when we click on this, it's going to just ask us to enter our thoughts. In my last entry, I forgot to take a little snapshot of where I'm at, so I'll do that with this entry. I don't need a tag for this one, so I'll just go past that. Okay, and you see there's our first entry and there's our second entry with the timestamp. And I'll just use the photo option built into Apple Notes. I'll click this and I'm going to take a photo. So I'm going to use this photo. And as you can see, it pasted it right into my entry. Okay, so I can close that one out. Okay, so now let's say we want to make an entry into our brain, but we don't want it in our journal. So that's what this shortcut does. And it says enter note, the first line is the title. So all it did was put the title on there. I'll just give it a tag called Apple EDC. And there it is. This is the second brain entry from the Kennedy Space Center. And I didn't put anything after that first line, so the whole thing is the title. Ooh, and I just saw a heron flying by. Okay. Anyway. We'll close that one out. So we've gone over our journal entry and our single entry. So now let's just do a quick dictation into my second brain. This is just a quick dictation just wanted to jot down a quick note about how nice a day it is. And it puts it in there. It doesn't open the window. It figures you're on the go, and so you just wanted to put something in there quick. Okay, so that covers the basics of getting stuff into my second brain. So now if we open our second brain, we can go up here. And these are all of the notes that are in my second brain, okay? There's a quick brain entry we just made. There is a second brain entry right there with the Apple EDC. Here is my journal entry for September 1 and the two entries I've made so far. So this is just a second brain folder. Now we'll come back to this page. Let's say I wanted to grab my location and save it into my brain. So I can use this shortcut, brain my location. It's thinking because it's getting my location. Okay, so my location has been copied into the clipboard and the second brain opens next. And this is where copying into the clipboard is really powerful and I'll show you why. So we'll say okay. And then we're gonna get another little menu that says, well, do you wanna just create a brain entry with a location tag already on it? Or do you wanna just open your second brain menu? Well, it's a location, so let's just do that, location tag. So the first line is the title. And it opens it up, and I can post, paste my location. And as you see, I get information from two different types. I have a photo that's linked to an underlying URL. And then I have my latitude and longitude and altitude that are text. And the clipboard handled those different data types automatically, so I didn't have to worry about it. So let's look and see quickly how that works. We'll open up our shortcuts. Burritos and coffee, huh? Okay. Um, and we will go to EDC locations folder. And you see that I have my EDC location to brain, so we'll tap on the three dots to see how this works. I always start off with a comment, then I dismiss Siri in case I've called this from Siri. As soon as, Siri, as soon as this action runs, it will dismiss Siri and just keep going. Okay, the first action after that is to create a tag. Now this create tag only creates a tag if one doesn't already exist with the same name. So this is just kind of a safety net. And if I twizzle it down here with the options icon there, I turn off open when run. Then I go about getting my current location and getting the maps URL from that location. 
So this is a URL. And then I get latitude, longitude, and altitude, all three of which are text. So then I use the text action to make a text, what I could call a text box, a lat long that I just typed in there. And then I stuck in the latitude with a comma, then longitude, then altitude with um, the altitude that I got from above. Then I set a variable that I've named location stuff to the maps URL. And this is really cool because variables can handle multiple types. So at least they can in shortcuts. So I've set the variable and that first type is a map URL. And if I tap on it right here, I can see that the type is in fact a URL. So then I'm gonna add that text action to that variable. So this is appending the text to the URL variable, but keeping these data types separate. And if we click here, we can see that that data type is text. So now I'm copying that variable with the different data types onto the clipboard. I have it set for local only. Then I run my little show location alert. So it says location info copied into the clipboard, second brain opens next. And for my options, I just left everything at the default. Then I go to the home screen. I just do that because I like the way it looks, it's not necessary. Then I run this little choose from menu and I don't have a prompt in here. So I think it just says which one. So we can have an option to create an EDC brain entry or just open the menu or dismiss. And that's what we saw when we ran it. So if I were to select the create the EDC brain entry with the location tag, it asks for input and we saw our little text box. So we put our text into there. And a reminder, the first line is the title. And then for options, allow multiple lines, which I think is the default. Then we create a note with that input. And the next thing we put is the current date. And by the way, I like to format that date type as a short date format and a medium time format so that I get the seconds with the time. Then I add a tag to that note. And the tag is the one that we created way up at the top right after we dismissed Siri. Right here, create tag EDC locations. Make sure you turn off open when run on that one. We've shown our alert. We've done our little home screen. We run this menu item. And after it has the tag, goes to the home screen again, shows the folder EDC second brain. This kind of makes sure it gets back to a starting point before it actually opens tags to notes. I find that this makes it work more consistently and actually bringing you to whatever you're trying to open. In this case, it's tags to notes because it's the note that we added a tag to. Then our second menu option is to open our EDC brain menu. And that just runs the EDC brain menu shortcut and there's no input. so. I just left that the default. And then of course our third option is just to dismiss. So let's run it again real quick just to refresh how this works. So it's getting our location. It's got our location. It's run our little alert. We say okay. Then it gives us our menu. Do we want to do a brain entry with a tag or just the menu or dismiss? This time let's open the menu. So I have this EDC brain menu, and I have this for the shortcut uh, stack that I run for my own second brain as well. And it lets me just decide real quickly if I just want a journal entry, a single entry, a quick entry. If I want to open my journal, show the last five, and I have mine set to five, show my last five entries into my second brain, show any entries that I've pinned with a tag that's called EDC pin. And then if I just want to do a tag search or if I want to open a to-do list note that I keep in my second brain, it's just a simple little to-do list note. I'll open it real quick just to show you. And that's just my EDC to-do list. Rather than using reminders or something complicated, I just find this to be useful. And I tag it with EDC to-do list, I also have it tagged with pinned so that it's easy to find from my menu, right? So if I just come up here 
and um, go back. Let's go ahead and open that menu again. We'll open it this time from here. Um, and I say show pinned. One of the pinned items in my EDC second brain is that to-do list. Here's a script. Here's some revision notes. They're pinned because I've been referring to them quite a bit while I've been making these videos. So let's see what we haven't yet covered in here. Uh, oh yeah, so remember when we saved our locations, here's a little shortcut to bring up our favorite locations. So there they are. Okay, this is demo of location that we just made. If I click on that, you see that we have our demo of location. We have our image provided by Apple Maps with a URL underneath that. And then we have our text and then we have our EDC locations tags. So I can just click that and there we are. So for my tutorial updates, I think I'm gonna start with building the things in this widget because those are you know, kind of the basics to the journal and everything else is just embellishment. So we'll start with those tutorials and then we'll build our menu because we have to have these shortcuts that we can call from the menu, right? And then in further updates, we'll get into how we can use the share sheet. And that is really powerful. I really love playing around with that. And I'll give you a quick example of that. We'll go ahead and do a EDC brain single. So first, first line is the title, the Kennedy Space Center in Titusville, Florida. I just love the beauty of Florida, and this is a great place to enjoy it. I think I'd like to do a little research on the Kennedy Space Center and save it into my second brain. Okay, let's go ahead and tag this. Uh, I'll tag it with Apple EDC. Okay, so we see the title of the note and then the body of my note. But now let's do a little research. And here's a little share menu shortcut. Say that fast three times. Tap on my share menu. And I'm going to say EDC chat to brain. And when I tap this, it's going to run a shortcut. And that shortcut brings up an input box that lets me ask chat GPT a question. What's the history of the Kennedy Space Center? Okay, we can see up here that ChatGPT is thinking. I just used the free version of ChatGPT and we're on cell, so this might take a minute. Okay, your chat has been copied to the clipboard. Okay, all right. So all I have to do is come down here. Maybe I'll go down here, put a few carriage returns, hit paste. And there's my chat, all right? And ChatTPT is pretty chatty, as you can see. There's our timestamp with our little separator. What's the history of the Kennedy Space Center? Here's chat's answer, and it just goes on and on. And just a reminder, whenever you're using any AI, uh, ChatGPT included, um, make sure that you double check this information because especially if you're using it for work or for school or for some official purpose, it may not be 100% correct. So you definitely want to always check it and you always want to mention that you've used whatever AI system you've used like ChatGPT to gather this information. Now, something else that I've got that I really like, especially for being out in the field, is another little uh, share menu shortcut that lets me add the weather at my current location to the clipboard. As you can see, it's thinking about it. Okay, there's our current weather with our timestamp and it's on the clipboard. So I'll say okay. And then I can just tap in here and paste that right into the clipboard. All right, and one just, uh, I guess I can't overemphasize this. These are all just Apple Notes, okay? This is an Apple Note. If I click here, there's the all iCloud folder, right? And if I click here, I can look and see my EDC second brain. And there's what we just did with the Kennedy Space Center and all the stuff that we've just done. Now, one thing that's very important, especially when dealing with tags, is these smart folders here, like Apple EDC and my EDC to-do list 
uh, EDC Daily Journal, they all use tags to populate. And then my shortcut just opens the smart folders. So when I ask my second brain to show me my daily journal, it just opens the smart folder. Okay, so what happens is if there are no notes with that tag, the operating system deletes the tag. So let's just say I'm doing a demo and I think, okay, I'm going to erase my daily journal so that when I record my demo, it'll be fresh. When I do that, it's going to erase that EDC tag, which means the system won't work if it's trying to use this smart folder. So if you ever run into a problem where all of a sudden your search doesn't work anymore, look at your smart folder. In this case, we'll look at this one. Okay. We'll come up here to our options and we'll edit our smart folder. And then we see manage smart folder. We can come down here. And it says it's got one tag. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. Go away. I'll show more. And you can see there's the EDC Daily Journal. Had I erased that, that tag wouldn't be there. That smart folder wouldn't work. So that's just one little caution to use in tags. Okay. And the, the way that smart folder, by the way, if I come back, if I come back and look to where I'm saying EDC Brain Journal open, if we just come into our shortcuts and go to our EDC widget and look at that shortcut, you'll see that it simply dismisses series, goes to the home screen, and shows my folder EDC Daily Journal. So had that tag not been there, that show folder would just come up with all iCloud or whatever <laughs> happened to be on last, I say. So that's why the tags functioning properly are really important to this little ecosystem. Okay, I think that's covered it pretty well, and I try to do that as succinctly as possible. I hope you enjoyed that, found something useful, at least got a kick out of it. And by the way, you know that McDonald's shortcut? I'm trying to work on that, but I've run into some bumps. So if, if you're interested in following along with that, please consider subscribing and checking us out. I hate to say use the notifications because I personally hate notifications, but if you're so inclined, go ahead and do that. All right. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate you, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.